Hello everybody, and it's Roll. Welcome again to another delivery box where I go over my eBay purchases, my online purchases, and my store purchases. I know I just released in one of these, but it just so happened that a whole bunch of orders came in and I just went to the store and bought a whole bunch of stuff that I'm sitting on so much stuff I thought I'd share. So the first of all, let's go over things that I bought in the store. First of all, some Pokemon figures. Uh, Litten and Rowlet. I'm not a really big fan of Rowlet, but when I played uh, Pokemon Moon, I kept Litten. He, she was the first one that I chose, and uh, I kept her all throughout my gameplay until I lost my DS, but that's for another story. It's another story for another day, that is. Uh, next I bought was Invincible Iron Man Marvel Legends series. These were all bought at Target. Uh, I'm a huge fan of 3.75 figures. Uh, G.I. Joe figures, Marvel figures, Star Wars Black series, the 3.75 versions. Wasn't not a big fan of Iron Man and especially not a very big fan of this suit, but I kind of wanted all of the uh, figures from the set. Uh, I do have all of these figures except for Maestro. I couldn't find Maestro. And... Even then, with the Iron Man, it's always fun to collect multiple Iron Man armors, just so you can have a whole haul of armors. I have about, I'm guessing, oh, I'd say about six or seven 3.75 Iron Man figures. One of these days, uh, hopefully I can DIY uh, my own haul of armor so I can have them all uh, laid out, just like Tony Stark would. Next, I have... Titans Returns, Transformers Brawn. It's an interesting thing about the Transformers. What I tried to do is I tried to keep myself to the 124th scale Transformers. That would be the Human Alliance stuff and the uh, Japanese uh, releases, the uh, Alternators. However, these Titans Returns, some of the characters are just so cool and so iconic that I kind of had to pick some up. So I picked up things like Perceptor, Soundwave, this Brawn. I also picked up Bumblebee. I was this close to getting Cliff Jumper, who's not called Cliff Jumper anymore, but I decided to just pick up Brawn and, you know, I'll open this, f figure out if I like more, and maybe pick up uh, the new series that's coming out, The Power of the Primes. We'll have to see about that one. Okay, that was all my Target purchases. I went to my local game store, and I purchased the newest Lord of the Rings, the uh, LCG pack. Um, I'm a huge fan of the LC, uh, Lord of the Rings LCG. I love how it's solo or multiplayer. I love being able to build my own decks without having to buy uh, packs like a magic like a magic set. Unfortunately, with all my model building these days, I haven't had a chance to pick up Lord of the Rings in a long, long time. Hopefully, this pack after I open it will remedy that. Okay, I went to my uh, Hobby Lobby, picked up some supplies. These are just simply a couple of things. Um, these are the sanding sticks, sanding files, or sanding sticks that I use for my, uh, mostly my painted models. I don't use these for Gundam, mostly because, you know, if you try to use these on the unpainted models, the parts that you actually sand st stand out from everything else. But models that I do paint, like the Sakura Tyson model that I'm working on, I actually do use these to sand down the... Uh, areas uh, in different grits and then uh, the paint will cover up all the sanding uh, that you do. Uh, I've got these, uh, they call them jumbo craft sticks. We all know they're popsicle sticks. What I plan to do with this, uh, I'm making my 124th arcade. I plan to chop these off, uh, spray paint these with um, wood enamel so they look like um, wood and then try to make a my own uh, floor for my arcade no clue how that's gonna work but yeah, i'll give it a shot and show it to you when i'm done that's everything that i've oh wait hold on went to my bookstore barnes and noble yeah they still exist and purchased some light novels i am a manga collector but these days i just don't seem to be buying any manga i just seem to be buying the light novels that the manga is based on. Um, Konosuba, I've heard heard some things about it. I think I read like the first couple ten pages of the manga. Seems okay. Psycho Love Comedy, weird, weird story. I read the first five or ten pages about a guy who goes to the jail and uh, for to a school for murderers. Seems to be interesting. 
And then this is the isolator. I've uh, read the first book. Number one, I love how these are hardcover. But I read the first book. This is from the author of uh, Excel, uh, Excel World and uh, Sword Art Online. I've never actually read those two or even read, watched the anime or the, read the manga. But uh, I love the first book, so I bought the next two. Okay. Now, the really exciting thing that came in for me was my Amazon order. I got the Mobile Buku from Gundam Seed. Um, for those who don't know, I love quadruped and tripod and six-legged uh, mecha. And this is the crown, crown jewel of my, going to be the crown jewel of my collection because I'm going to have multiple of these. And as you can see, they're kind of tiger-like, but they're, it's a quad mech. I'm really going to enjoy putting this together. And... Again, I'm, I also did order the Legal, but that did not come in. But I'm going to be enjoy putting these uh, HG uh, Bukus together. I believe that's how you, call it, how you pronounce it. And I'm going to enjoy it so much, I'm going to do it twice. So, uh, once these two come together, I'm going to batch them in with all my other quads and, you know, make a video about it. And lastly, I got my order from Ami Ami. Ow! As some might know, you uh, Ami Ami has a bunch of pre-orders. Uh, I'm sorry, pre-owned stuff that you can buy, and it's at a cheaper cost. Now the shipping's kind of expensive, but you know, you expect that from Japan. The first, I got my SH Figure Arts Prototype uh, Common Rider Birth from Common Rider O's. I already have the regular Birth. This is the prototype. I wanted to have two of them just so I could have represent both characters that use the armor. And I also have the uh, their armor set, so I'm going to be distributing that armor set between both the prototype and the regular berth, like that, like those two pieces. All right. I got two copies of the P226 and P228 uh, pistols from Little Armory. I really like the Little Armory set. I have a whole bunch uh, sitting on the side, which I'll show in a later video. And uh, hopefully I'll have all six, well, 12 of these now uh, pistols put together and uh, up on my uh, display when I show you that. Uh, these, will, these will be the last uh, Little Armory stuff that I order. I'll be ordering all the, the, the pre-orders as they uh, come out. Then lastly, I got my first Gundam Premium, I mean Premium Bandai Gundam uh, kit. This is the Gundam Floros. I have the regular Floros. In fact, I built the regular Floros. In fact, let me bring him in. It's the red Floros. He, while he does turn into a regular Gundam, I'm going to keep him as a quad because, you know, he's a quad. Um, I was hesitant to buy this at first because basically it's just this, but more expensive and white. But it also does come with some extra armaments. And to be honest, I've always wanted, I, I've wanted multiples of these and I was thinking about buying two of these. So I figured why not have a red one and why not have a white one? And it's kind of fun just to have a premium Bandai kit. It is my first, hopefully not my last, but we'll see how that goes. Again, this is Roll, the delivery box. Hopefully you guys had fun seeing all the things that I get, and I'll see you at the next one.